Good morning, North Woods Nibble Academy families. Happy Friday. I just wanted to stop by this morning and give you an update on a few items that I know you've been wondering about. First, I'm glad to announce that beginning Monday the 19th, Northwood Temple Academy will have an off-duty sheriff's deputy on our campus three days a week. That is what our budget can hold right now. If we see in the future that we can add the other two days, we will. We will have three officers that kind of rotate being on our campus. They'll be on campus from 8 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They will take time during the day to go walk through all the buildings, checking doors, keeping the campus secure, and I hope to give them access to our cameras so that they can um, also view them. So you will see their presence on our campus beginning Monday morning, and we are very grateful for that. Now, um, the $70 fee will be placed in your fax account on October, in October for the month of October. And this will help to cover half of the cost of the three days a week that we're able to have an officer on our campus. It, the officer does meet the requirements that many of you in the survey asked for. They do have arrest powers, they are armed. So I've spoken to uh, Deputy Craig, and she will be the one that's lining up for our officers, really liked her a lot, and she's looking forward to serving on our campus. She actually is a canine officer, so she will also have her dog with her on some days. So I think we're fortunate to, to have the team that we have coming on our campus. Next, I wanna to talk to you about the coming up September 27th, Coffee with the Leaders. We've kind of revised the model this year and I'm excited about the first one, even though we're still using it to train in biblical worldview and that kind of thing and using a book. I'm really excited about the book this year. It gives you lots of good ideas to use in your home. But that will, we will work on that for 30 minutes of our time, and then the last 30 minutes will be some kind of hot topic of what's going on at school. This first one, we're going to deal with budget, because one thing I noticed on the survey is many of you had questions about what does our tuition dollars cover? Seems like we pay enough. It should cover everything. Well, I want to give you a very detailed budget report so that you can see that we try our very best to be good stewards of the money and God really does multiply our money. We're able to do a lot of things that some schools are not able to do financially. So please be with us on that September the 27th. We're having it from six to seven so that it would give the opportunity for all the families that work, parents, to come and be a part of that evening. We will have snacks, not a meal. I wanted you to know also, and this deals with the security on our campus, that on our half day, September the 14th, we had um, just some drill practice with our staff going through what we do when there's an intruder on the campus or we have to have a lockdown, a code red lockdown. So we went through the whole process and we practiced with the teachers. On the morning of the 27th, we're going to have a lockdown drill with the students. I wanted you to know first so that um, you would not be surprised by it. We will prep the students, we will give them all the information, but we feel that it's important that we practice what we would do if we had to go on a cold red lockdown. Um, it went very smoothly the other day, and of course, if it was real, you know, we would just go through what we, we could do but we pray for God's safety on this campus every day. But I wanted you to know that, that we're doing the drills, we're practicing, because it is our heart to keep your kids as safe as possible. And on that note, we did add six high definition cameras um, on our campus to the 38 that we already have. So our campus is secure with camera coverage, and that should give you a, a little feeling of safety. If you have any questions about that, um, please email them to me. I will be glad to answer, um, you know, your questions. I know that one thing on the survey I think someone said was sometimes they find the doors propped open, and sometimes that's true. We'll have high school kids go out the back door. They'll prop it so that they can get back in. But we've been practicing that. We've been speaking with our students about it, and that's one of the things that the officer will do is they will walk around and ensure that all of the doors are secure. Classroom doors, 
outside doors. They will help make sure that those doors are secure. One last thing, um, I think begins next week, it's the candy sale. And, you know, we do the world's chocolate, um, finest chocolate every year, the Booster Club does. Please have your child participate and please be at the budget meeting because I will talk about why those fundraisers that Booster Club hosts are so important to the school. And that doesn't matter whether your child plays athletics or not. Those candy sales and fundraisers help offset costs that would have to go into a, um, at the athletic program. So make sure you come to the budget meeting so that you can understand clearly why the fundraisers that we have on campus are so important in ensuring that we can keep our tuition affordable for families. Listen, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're in God's house on Sunday worshiping with your children and with your family. And I just pray that just God just moves mightily in your homes. You know, that is what God intended to use the family for, to use the family to ensure that the faith, the Christian faith, is passed from generation to generation to generation. And that is our heart based on Psalm 78. So the next generation will know. Have a great weekend. I appreciate and love you.